What's up everybody, Visho here. Hope everyone is all well. I hope that you all get all of the blessings and love that you deserve. Um, I am out here. I am walking to an establishment called Sheets. So Sheets is like a 7-Eleven. It's just a better version. You can get food and wine and cigarettes and all that lovely stuff. Um, I'm over here because I'm just going to get a couple of things. Like some water and stuff like that. But, um, so let me just stop here for a sec. So today was my dad's funeral. It was a heavy day. A heavy day. The good thing is, um, my daughter and I got to share our reflections, expressions about my dad. Folks got to say what they wanted to say about my dad, and there was some really cool stories. Um, it was a heavy day. <laughs> a heavy day. We were supposed to go to my Uncle Glenn's house. Um, with the emotional toll of today, it was really, really hard. Um, my niece is taking it hard. You know, my dad was like that main dude in her life. And the same thing for my daughter, as well as my granddaughter. So, you know, my dad's loss is a heavy one. It's, it's felt. So with that for today, you know, that really, really made us tired. So I'm out here, I'm smoking. And um, I'm in front of sheets. I'm gonna go get me probably some more wine. If you don't know sheets, sheets is the better version of 7-Eleven. Oh, God. But if you go to Wawa, Wawa is the better version of sheets. Child, let me tell you something. But anyway, um, I got through my dad's funeral today. Like I said, it wasn't easy, and I'm still, it, it, the grief comes in spurts, you know, one minute I'll be fine, and then another minute I'll think of something, and I'm boohooing. <sighs> I expect it's going to be like that for a minute. On the upside, however, I got to meet a bunch of cousins that I had not met. A lot of the cousins that I met today are cousins that I got to know because my dad, when he got computer literate and my dad opened up a Facebook, he connected me to all of these cousins that I didn't know I had. And these cousins know him as Peter Rabbit <laughs> because Grandma Lula gave him that name because he was doing everything so fast. So everybody wanted to come to Peter Rabbit's services and you know, the folks that knew Peter Rabbit were there. I wanted to know who these folks are. These are my cousins. So, you know, in addition to the stuff that I said at, you know, at my, dad's reflections one of the things I said at the end is all right so cousins there's a bunch of people in this room that I'm just meeting folks I've never met and there's a bunch of y'all out there that I don't know um I think that we need to get together on more occasions than just sad ones and I'm gonna make it my mission to make that happen so I'm just saying now, for anybody that's looking at this, that you're my family, I'm going to reach out to you if I have connections with you to find out what you know about the family, what your connection is, and we can get something going. Because my thing is, even if we don't hook up once a year, let's at least, there's Zoom, there's Teams, there's all of these different platforms. Let's do it that way because we're all in different places. And 
if you don't know who your family is, who? how do you know who the fuck you are? Honestly, you could be marrying your goddamn cousin you don't know. So my thing is, like, just get to know family. I feel like one of the things that came out of my dad's passing, besides um, my, my idea of the JJ and Deanie Jones Foundation, which I will speak upon more of later because I need to get that um, more together. But that's something that I'm thinking about. But the other thing that came out of my dad's passing is that we need to get together as a family more. More. It doesn't make sense. I, I mean, God almighty, I'm in New York. We got family living in Virginia that don't fuck with each other. And I'm just trying to figure out why. I don't know. Maybe it's just a difference in styles and personalities. And I get that. But we should still be able to be family and be able to get along. There was too many people in that room today that I didn't know who y'all were. And then once I found out who you were, it's like, hey, yay, thank you. Then there were folks that I saw that I haven't seen in ages. My nephews... Oh my gosh, Curtis Jr. and Josh, I haven't seen them since, ah. And my sister has been passed away for, wow, a minute and I haven't seen the boys and I'm so glad to have seen them today. But that's what I'm talking about. It's because my dad passed away that I got to see them. You know what I mean? Like we need to make a conscious effort as a family and i mean this is not just for me i'm talking about for everybody out there that's listening okay if you have family get together with that family man and i listen i i know all family ain't the kind of family you want to be around i know but the ones you want to be around connect with them talk to them i sat with my cousin niecy today right and we spoke and we just sat there and spoke that's the most i've spoken to her on some random just regular random shit as well as regular shit that's the most i've spoken to her because we haven't really spent that time you know what i mean we need to get better as a people as a family as a nation i mean it doesn't just stop, you know, stop with one family. This needs to be a collective. Get with your people, everybody. Get with your families, all right? And again, like I said, there's some families out here that are, you just don't want to fuck with them because they're, you can't, and I get it. But not everybody in that family is in that category. There's somebody in there that you can mess with somebody in there that you could connect with and commune with and just be family so on that note i just want to say if there's anybody out there that's mourning a loved one take the opportunity to use it as an experience to perhaps get to know the family that's left I honestly believe that there's a part of my dad's passing that feels like I'm supposed to learn about the rest of my family. You know what I mean? I got in, in contact with a cousin that came to my dad's funeral today, Richard Mitter, and and I've, I've heard the name, I know who his mom was and all of that stuff it is. And, you know, today was the first day I met him. He's cool as shit. He's cool as shit, yo. Like, this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. So, you know, there was a part of my dad's passing that made me feel like maybe that's part of why this had to happen. I needed to get in contact. Because my dad was really my last contact to that side of the family. Like, I still have my mom's side. Thank you, team, for coming out for my dad. Um, but I still have my mom's side, you know, and there's connection. But for my dad, my dad, honestly, was the glue 
for me and my sister and everyone else to be connected to that side of the family. So that's one of the, the things that came with this loss is that my dad was the glue. So with that, I want to work with my cousin Carolyn and we need to get this family together, man. Only for those that are, are willing. If you're not willing, then that's fine. You can keep going on with your, with your life. That's fine. But for those of us that want to stay connected, I'm going to connect with y'all. I'm going to connect with everybody that I met that I got um, info on. And I want to find out what y'all's interest is. The only thing I want is I just want us to get to know each other. Because like I said, there was too many people in that room today that I didn't know that I should have known who y'all were. You know what I mean? You should have known who I was and we should have just been on some shit. So, I want to take this sad opportunity and use it as something as a building block. So, if I can get to know who my family is and if they can get to know who I am and then we can keep this shit going for generations. I'm sorry, I don't have any on me. I could smoke. I could ask him if he wanted to smoke, but but I really don't have any change on me. I got my what? Oh shit! Hey, dude! Hey, dude! Dude! Hey! Bang! Bang! Come, me. I forgot, I got my wallet with me. Fuck. Hold on, everybody. And I'm on camera, so if he decides to rob me, you'll be on. You know what? I forgot I have my wallet on me. Uh oh, that's cool. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Here. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Good for you. I hope you get it. Good luck, Papa. You too, thank you. So, um, yeah, hug your families, man. And when you get to find out who your family is, hang on to them. Because the ones that I connected with for the first times, the, for the first time, the ones that I reconnected with, I need to hold on to y'all because my parents are gone. My parents were the ones that was connecting me to all of y'all. Now that they're gone, I need to make that connection. And I said that in my reflections at the service that I'm going to make it my mission to get this family back on some shit where we can see each other on a more, re a, a, a better basis than when somebody's dead and when we're crying. I don't want to see, see people and cry because I'm missing somebody. I wanna see people and cry because, oh shit, hey, I ain't seen you in a minute, but we talked. You know what I mean? I don't know, I just, I'm just on some real different stuff since my dad passed. It's a miracle I'm not crying right now because uh, it's been a rough road. I have spurts comes in spurts so there are some like for instance right now I'm fine I'm great check me in about an hour maybe two hours so it's been like that so I'm trying to be strong for myself I'm trying to be strong for my daughter because that was grandpa you know grandpa was that main dude in her life you know, thank goodness she has her dad. She, you know, but my dad was grandpa. He was always there. Every birthday, every holiday. Same thing for my niece, same thing for my granddaughter. So in addition to keeping myself together, I gotta be there for them. So I've been trying to, you know, just be supportive especially for my niece this is her first like real death 
that she's had to experience. And daddy was really, really instrumental in her life. So it's it's hard. So I'm I'm glad that I'm able to be strong enough to keep it together for them. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to say again if you have family get to know them get to love them hug them keep them close again i hope all of you guys are getting all the love and good stuff that you deserve in life i'm gonna let you guys know going forward the rest of my transition documentation all right have a good night.